Uh oh, true crime. Y'all ain't true crime in that good. What's wrong? True crime. Stupid motherfuckers. There's new, uh, there's new shit that come out about, uh, the Riley Strain kid. So listen to this. Thank you, Mark. One of the mysteries after a college student died on a spring break trip to Nashville was whether bars overserved him. Well, the results of an investigation just came in. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Bogus. Riley Strain disappeared last March after a night out on Broadway. His body was found two weeks later in the Cumberland River. Then, earlier this month, the medical examiner ruled he died of an accidental drowning and ethanol intoxication which often means someone drank too much alcohol. Investigators are looking into whether he was overserved or waiting, waiting on those results. News 2's Alicia Bo Wimberly is at the WKRN.com alert desk with the final word on that. Alicia Bo. Now, Bob and Haley, state investigators did not find any evidence Riley Strand was overserved at these bars. Police found he had multiple alcoholic drinks after arriving in Nashville with friends on a fraternity trip. The Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission just told us in a statement, while the circumstances of Mr. Strain's death are tragic, the TABC investigation into whether he was served alcohol while visibly intoxicated on the night of March 8, 2024, did not result in any concrete evidence in the form of eyewitness testimony or video proof of a violation by a bar. So, so you mean to tell me all this talk from all these private investigators and motherfuckers that was walking around Nashville, they all said, oh yeah, it, it, it was at Luke Bryan's. Oh yeah, yeah, it was it. It was at Kid Rock's. It was, he was down there, he was drunk. There is zero evidence of anyone selling him anything with all these people walking around with fucking camera phones, with there being a camera on every fucking street corner of Nashville. There's not one video of him walking near a bar. There, with a bar even in the frame. Zero. Zero. I even went through all the footage of the show that we had one block over. It was either the day before or the day of. Zero. And that shit's an 8K motherfucker. True crime better bitch. Just to clarify, I don't think this is some crazy Nashville cover-up. No. I think the kid just probably didn't go into a bar. Since there's no footage. <laughs> I don't think it's a big cover-up, but it's something you went there. Alright, so you got this little girl that went missing. This is her confusing-ass family situation. And then here's the family's private investigator. Here's this kid who went missing. Here's this confusing ass family situation. Here's the private investigator. On both. You see what I'm saying? You mean to tell me this Riley Strain kid does not have the last name of either of his parents? Michelle Witted and Ryan Gilbert. Okay. Now you got this over here. The mom, Lindsay Neiman, and whoever the fuck this guy is. This is the grandpa, so, I mean, <laughs> it says his name's Daniel Rodney, but I can't find this motherfucker nowhere. Her case was in Truckee, California. His case is in Nashville, Tennessee. The fuck is this guy doing? So you mean to tell me they both were at an event that was involved partying with school friends. Both of their last texts was to their mom. They both were missing for about a week. Both of them's evidence is shitty camera footage. It's insanely unclear. Both of their deaths was by drowning nearby. Both of them had missing clothes. Both of them had online autopsy misinformation. And both of the cases were disrupted by the same fucking dude. This cunt. So anybody saying, man, church, you're on one, what's wrong? I can't help that you're fucking stupid and you can't fucking put two and two together, man. Okay, Jesus just made you that way. Then check this out, that same fucking weird ass investigator, dude. Here he is making fucking million dollar bets on dead kids. Like, can you be a normal criminal or just like sell guns or drugs or something you're making bets on dead kids you fucking freak you know why 
this motherfucker don't like me because I notice all of his patterns. Because I'm a freak for patterns. And he's like, stop liking me. And I'm like, no. Make me. Just as a searcher, uh, I was just um, going through the woods and around Prosser and everything. And, and I got to know the family simply by going to the volunteer trailer. They were there all the time. You know, SF, can, I ask you, uh, can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. What it, what do you think about Xanime? I don't know who that is. <laughs> you don't know who Xanime is? I don't think so. You don't what I thought you were investigating this case though. I was I was searching for Kylie, yeah. I mean but so Xanime, you don't know, know about the Xanime girl? No. You never seen her? Well, who who is she? And then maybe I'll like. She's the lady that was canoeing over where the car was found. Oh, uh, I don't. I mean, I definitely went on a couple days that I was out there searching. There was definitely people in canoes out there. I mean, there's a lot of people in canoes out there. Now keep in mind, this is the motherfucker from, that was from Truckee. Now they're in Nashville. You see how he said just now? He's like, yeah, I was just going through people's yards and just, you know, like, investigating people's yards. What the fuck did the Nashville News say? They said, yo, bruh. They said, because this Riley Strain kid, there is a group of motherfuckers that are claiming to be the United Cajun Navy, and they're going through people's yards and, like, looking in their houses and stuff. So watch out for these weird motherfuckers that's not from Nashville beating in your backyard. Bro, <laughs> don't come in my backyard. So you mean to tell me there ain't no footage of this dude in a bar in Nashville? And they said his ass got drunk in Nashville, and there ain't no footage. Okay, then you get this this investigator dude. This bitch ass investigator dude, he comes down here and brings a bunch of fucking volunteers with boats. And he's like, come on guys, let's go look. And then shortly after the body's found. Yeah. Sounds like somebody dumped a fucking body that died somewhere else. Which is why there's no footage, motherfucker.